Um, Megan, a couple of comments. Um, I like the email campaign. It is effective. Um, I noticed, however, from your list of contact folks, we don't have bankers. Well, okay. And I think that that may be a, a target group that we may want to get this information to. And also, I think this email campaign should be expanded to include a greater array of citizens. I think we should continue on building upon that because after all, when people ask what we do and what we've accomplished, I think it is important that the average taxpayer, which contributes to that pot of money that we get from the city and county and we're reminded of it by them every chance, we need to start impacting those people. They're part of our stakeholders and I think they're critically important to our mission. Yes. And I think I, from seeing the um, process of putting this one together, it would be a separate email um, with a different, a little bit different con content, um, focusing on our Made in Valdosta campaign and articles, and linking those to the articles at BDT's um, website, um, along with the announcements, but a more a different content as generated as well for that email. And the folks at the College of Business believes that we're finally getting it. They like it. Some of them are on that list. Um, on another matter, as it relates to your lead sources, um, do we have any way of, a, of counting, tabulating our success rate based upon the type of lead? If it's a telephone call, email, a tip or cue from someone else. Do we have? Yeah, we can we can create an additional report. That would be like a three tier report, three steps down. But we can. There's so much intelligence we can gather from using the information we put in input to Salesforce. So I can definitely provide that information. What are the most effective leads that yield the greatest return with well, the least okay. amount of our time? That's well, kind of what we'll, I'm looking yeah. for. Yeah. We'll begin to see that information because we, we've just started this beginning of 2015. So as we implement, implement it and see it from year to year, we'll be able to track it better. So I don't know if there's so any we're, we're putting a lot of data in there, so no. we'll be able to extract that data for those purposes of what you're requesting no. um, and report that back to the board. So that's no. the exact same information that we're looking for. Oh, good. And I think just from the short amount of time that we've used it, um, and it from one of the reports that she gave, well, the biggest impact on our leads and what we're seeing are sure. going to be our existing industries, and that's what we've seen the most, and that's where we're seeing a lot of our return on investment um, in dollars and time. Yeah, this is something that we've talked about for a number of years, and I think it's finally coming to, to fruition in some ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, to further your point, if we see that we're spending, allocating this amount of money sure. for this activity, yielding zero results, then we need to shift our resources for sure. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.